Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this Lumi Gurumi sunflower. It's a pretty similar design to the Lumi Gurumi flower that I made back in January already. Can't believe it's already been like five months of the year and that's basically halfway through this year and it's kind of unbelievable but here we are. Um, I am aware that it has been a while since I made my last, like, tutorial kind of video. It's been, like, two weeks. Okay, that's not that long. It's been, like, two or three weeks, I think. But I know that's not that long. But I've just been kind of, like, stumped with making new designs or whatever. Um, so I'm sorry about that. But here we are today with this flower, um, sunflower. Um, it's very cute. And I just think it works so well for the season of spring and summer. Um... Because summer is just so close, and yeah, but I thought this was really cute. Um, the neon yellow doesn't look like the best with it, but unfortunately I only have neon yellow left. I don't have any regular yellow, so I'm just going to be dealing with this today. But let's get into what we're going to be needing. Um, you're not going to need any C-clips or stitch markers or anything like that. So if you don't even have any of those, then this is the tutorial for you. Um, you're going to be needing um, either your rainbow loom hook, crochet hook, um, or any kind of hook kind of thing that you have that you can use. I'm going to be using a 2mm safety hook. I mean, not safety hook. Um, crochet hook. What am I saying? Okay. 2mm crochet hook. And I'm also going to be using some brown bands for the center of the sunflower and some just neon yellow for the around of the sunflower. Um, you can go ahead and probably use, you can probably go ahead and get away with using like black in, for the center instead of brown. Um, but I just feel like brown looks a little bit better for sunflowers. Um, but long intro, I know, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so we are going to start off May by making a magic ring of six stitches so let's start you're going to start off by taking a brown band and wrapping it around your hook two times and then you are going to take another band and just pull it through and then reclaim the other side onto your hook then you are going to hold on to this little cap band and pull the front band through the back band. Go back into the center of the cap band and make sure that you go through all three of the loops. Pull through another band, reclaim on to the other side. Pull the front band through the back two. And that made our first two stitches. So go back into the three tripled cap band Pull a band through, reclaim onto your hook, and then pull through again. And this gives us three stitches, um, but we are going to keep going until we have six stitches. So I'm just gonna keep going back in and repeating that until we have six stitches around our magic ring. Um, to count how many stitches we have, we're going to start um, either at the one that's around our hook or the last one on the magic ring. And we're just going to count one, two, three, four, five, and the one on our hook is six. So I have one extra band, I'm just going to put that to the side. But now, we can start with the petals. The petals, I think, are pretty easy to make, but I will be going pretty slow for them. So if you need me to speed up or if you want me to talk a little bit faster, just go to like the settings and speed up the video if I'm going a little bit too slow for you. Um, but you're going to go into the first stitch of the, or, yeah, the first stitch of around the round. You're going to pull um, the yellow band through everything on your hook. So the brown band that's around your hook and the stitch that you just went into. And now you should have a little chain on your hook. Now you're going to chain one more through that chain, just like this. So now you're going to go back into that stitch we just went into, and you're going to do that again. You're going to pull a band through, 
reclaim onto your hook, and then chain one with the stitch we just added onto the hook. And it should look like this. Now we're gonna do that one last time, go back into the same stitch, take two bands, pull one through the stitch, reclaim, and pull one through that stitch we just pulled through, and chain one, and it should look like this. This is what's gonna make up the majority of our petal. Now we are going to pull a band through everything, every single loop that was around our hook. It should look like this. We're going to pull the front through the back of it and make a loose slip knot. Do not pull this tight, all right? Then you're going to go back into the same stitch again, I know, and pull a band through everything on your hook. So pull it through the stitch and then pull it through this little loop we just made at the top and then reclaim. Then you're going to just pull the front band through the back band. Just like that. And now we're going to start the next petal. So go into the next stitch, a new fresh stitch, pull a yellow band through everything on your hook, so the stitch we just went into, and this little band around our hook. Reclaim, and we're going to chain one. And now we're going to repeat going back into the stitch a few times and pulling through two chains. So one, two, go back in again, and chain two, one, two. And again, we are going to take a yellow band and pull through everything on the hook, reclaim, pull the front band through the back band, go back into the stitch we just went into, pull the band through everything, reclaim, and then to do a loose slip knot again. And we're just going to keep repeating that around. So I'm going to kind of talk a little bit quicker now when I'm doing this. But I'm going to do one more petal with you guys on camera, and then you guys can do the rest on your own. But we're going to go into the new stitch, pull a band through everything on your hook. That's your first chain. Chain one more. Go back into the same stitch. Chain two. Go back in again. Chain two. Now it should look like this. Then you're going to take a band. Pull it through everything on your hook, reclaim, loose slip knot, go back into the same stitch again, pull another band through everything, and then do another very loose slip knot. Do not pull it tight at all. You're going to repeat this in the next two stitches. And then I will come back and show you how to tie it off. All right, everyone. So you should have just ended um, like the fifth petal. And I said not to go into this last stitch. I said to go and do two more petals into the next two stitches. So you should still have this one little stitch left over. And that's the stitch that we are going to tie off into. So you're going to go into it with your hook. Take one last band and pull it through everything on your hook. Reclaim. And now you can go ahead and tie one nice tight slip knot. And that is it for the sunflower. And this is just a little thing so you can hang it maybe if you want to. But this is what the sunflower looks like. And I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it was easy enough for you guys to understand. Um, I am getting back into making tutorials again. So... I made a poll to make sure that you guys wanted me to do this video before the snake tutorial. Um, so, I'll be making a snake tutorial in my next video. Let me groom snake. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe and like this video. And please comment down below what you guys want me to make next. Um, yeah, bye guys!